just tell me I'm the one. Come on, you don't you don't have to tell your mother or the whole world. Just just tell me. I stayed up all night questioning my faith and faith. Faith that all the withholding would stop. Faith that he'd say, I love you. There are thousands, maybe tens of thousands of women like this in the city. We all know them, and we all agree they're great. And they're alone. Carrie Bradshaw. I am so excited. Oh. Sit down. I'm a huge fan of your work. Good taste and beautiful. Could it get worse? Oh. I never knew you were interested in writing children's books. Well, uh, it's a children's book for adults. I love it. I thought you might. <laughs> this could be great. She was smart, beautiful, and she got me. So what's the big deal? It's just a fling. It's not like we're throwing out our schedules or anything. Oh, sweetie, I gotta go. Yeah? I'm late for a meeting with my editor. Oh. Bye. Bye. Hi. Hi. Thanks for meeting me. Oh, thanks for inviting me. Wow, you changed your hair. Oh, well, thanks. <laughs> At the risk of sounding like a groupie, are you seeing anyone? How sweet. Let me show you how it's really done. It's no one special. Something's got a hold on me. Wow, uh, don't tell me you're surprised by this. Well, I can't just ignore it, can I? Yes. No! What's yes. the big deal? In 50 years, men are going to be obsolete anyway. I mean, already you can't talk to them. You don't need them to have kids with you. You don't even need them to have sex with anymore, as I've just very pleasantly discovered. Was Miranda right? I needed some answers. You know, I'm beginning to think the only place where one can still find love and romance in New York is the gay community. It's straight love that's become closeted. Maybe it's about fear, fear of the unknown. When life gets this confusing, sometimes there's only one thing to do. Attend a fabulous party. Hi. Isn't this fun? It's like hell with cover charge. I needed to escape. The party had turned into a preview, a preview of a life I didn't know if I was ready for. Excuse me. And then... Yes. Do you have a tampon? Oh, sure. Of course. My desire overcame my fear. Thanks a lot. A couple of blocks and way too much money later, I realized I had just entered an interesting chapter in my life. We're all basically the same, but somehow we wound up on different sides. Later that week, I realized I was happily dating another woman like it was the most natural thing in the world. Here's to us without men. Woo! You're here. New York City is all about change. Where women are so out, they're in. As for me, I was dating someone brand spanking new. I was in love with her. Then we were in Nicaragua with the Peace Corps. I can't get over it. You've had like five lives. I can barely make one happen. Oh, don't pull that self-effacing shit with me, Carrie. I see you. I know what you've got going. You're part of a dialogue. Just as long as you're not a Republican. May I just say, I like you very much. Thank you. We had done it, and now I was deep into the sex haze and completely freaked out. For the first time in my life, I was in a relationship where absolutely nothing was wrong. Maybe I'm just not used to being with someone who doesn't do the ever seductive withholding dance. I totally understand. You're not getting the stomach flip. You know, I'm, I'm used to the, uh, you know, the hunt, and this is effortless. It's just, 
It's freaking me out. Did I really believe a relationship had to be difficult in order to work? I was gonna call her, but I wasn't quite sure what to say or whose fault it really was. That night, we went out to our favorite bar, which on Saturdays changes into drag queen bingo. Come on, come on, N23. O33, ladies. Five. Can I get another board, please? Samantha? Yes? It's me, Brad. Brad Mikulski? Brad was a semi-professional hockey player Samantha had dated a few years back. Well, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. How are the kids? Oh, good, good. Jake is in second grade. Gotta go. Enjoy the game. <laughs> and 23. The next afternoon, Charlotte made the acquaintance of a member of the very highest cast. What? The power lesbian. Hi, nice to see you. I just came in to pay for my painting. How long have you been doing the art thing? Uh, 10 years, no, 12 years. What do you do? I'm a VP at Warner Music. That is so cool. Uh, Would you like to join us for a drink? I'd love to. One drink at G-Spot, the hottest new girl bar in town, followed by late night dancing at Love Tunnel, left Charlotte exhilarated and happy as she'd been in ages. After we made love, I knew it was over. Wallace, I would still like us to be friends. No, I mean that. And what happens when you meet somebody else? You know that we have something. Well, what we have is very special. All right, well, all right. Call me sometime. I will. Sweetie. I knew it was the last time we'd ever see each other. They say that the women in New York are the most beautiful women in the world. And then there's the occasional familiar face. Carrie? All five foot ten of her. Hey! Hi, Natasha. That looks uh, nice, that, um, what you have on there. You think? Yeah, I, uh, need something for this women in the arts luncheon. I helped organize them on the steering committee, so. Oh, really? I'm a member. Because, you know, I write, so I am a woman in the arts. I, I go to that lunch every year. In clothes. <laughs> Great. I'll see you there. All right. Great. I need these. Now, the heels are almost high enough to put me face to face with Natasha. I thought you didn't have a complex about how you look to other women. Oh, no. It's not a complex. It's a Natasha specific obsession, which will be over as soon as she sees me looking fabulous in these shoes and this dress I saw at Bergdorf's that's going to cost me a month's rent. Oh, listen to you. You don't have to prove anything. You are stunning and intelligent and funny. You could go to that luncheon wearing what you're wearing right now and still be the most incredible woman in the room. Wow. I heard about your marriage. And it's... I fell in love with you, and I'm sorry that I pretended to ignore it for as long as I did. You are? Oh. And just like that...
Boy, do I have news. Read it and weep, my friends. I'm sorry I can't. Don't hate me. A.K.A. leave in the middle of the night. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry, too. But, Carrie, everything happens for a reason, e even if you don't know what it is yet. That's such bullshit. Jesus. You know, she's shiny hair, style section, Vera Wang, and I'm, you know, the sex column they run next to ads for penile implants.